Hello and happy Valentine's week. We're going to be talking about love and leave behind. What are we leaving behind? I encourage you this Valentine's Day to leave behind your technology. I know. How do we do that? How many of you go to dinner and just as you sit down, you whip out this fabulous piece of technology and you start surfing the internet, answering text messages, get on the phone or do whatever it is that you do, you and the significant other, your spouse, your mate. And then the end of the meal is over and you realize you didn't even have a conversation. Is that you? Raise your hand. That sometimes is me and my spouse. But this Valentine's season, we're going to love and leave behind. I do encourage you to disconnect from the technology and connect with your significant other, your spouse, your mate on this Valentine's Day. Today, we're talking about the perfect Valentine's night out where you do leave that piece of technology at home or in your vehicle and you focus on each other. I'm Tanya Gossage, your Influence and Growth Mastery podcast. Let's go ahead and let's set the mood for that perfect night. It's Valentine's Day. It's the perfect opportunity to spend quality time with your significant other. And what better way to do that than disconnecting from this piece of technology? Let's go ahead and create a night field of romance, laughter, and memories to last a lifetime. Maybe you start with even turning that piece of technology off before you ever leave home or your vehicle or you do take it in, but you turn it off, putting it away so that you can focus on each other. You know, maybe you have a candlelight dinner at home or you can choose your favorite restaurant or even cook a romantic, a romantic meal together at home. The key is that you want to make it an intimate, an intimate, excuse me, an intimate evening so that you can have some quiet, uninterrupted conversations. I know for me that that seems to happen very rarely that we have uninterrupted conversations. It's either the tech, text messages are constantly coming in, the phone calls are uninterrupted. Something is always happening where we can't seem to have that uninterrupted conversation. But on Valentine's Day, that is the day that we should make a conscious effort to spend that quality time where those interruptions are not happening. This is a very fun way to spend time and enjoy a delicious, savoring meal all the way through the night. No interruptions. I'm already sitting here thinking, how wonderful would that be to go through one meal, whether it's cooked at home, whether it's at our favorite restaurant, it doesn't matter whether it's even brought in by our favorite bite squad. It doesn't matter. Just one interrupted, one interrupted meal to where we could have quiet conversations. And the best part is, is that you can take your time. Take your time to make memories and savor that meal with each bite during those conversations. Then after the meal, you want to engage in fun activities. Let's talk about some things that you can do for fun. Maybe you just go for a walk out by the restaurant. Many of you live out by beaches, parks, lakes. 
<coughs> excuse me, other places to where you can go and enjoy a nice, quiet, maybe cold, brisk, warm, wherever it is that you live, walk. Maybe you sit on a park bench and stare at the stars, count the stars. Maybe you go to a movie. Whatever your favorite thing is to do, go do it. Just have some fun, interrupted time together. One night a year on Valentine's Day. Just getting out of the house would be good for some of you that don't ever get out and do anything. Just spend some time doing something. Maybe even for a more relaxed, romantic experience. Again, count the stars if that's what it takes. Do some type of peaceful, beautiful, activity. Maybe it's even just cuddling up on the couch, getting warm and watching a movie there at home. If you can't afford to go out and do other things, go for your meal, then come home and watch a movie sitting on the couch, cuddling up under a blanket, a warm blanket, maybe in front of the fire for some of you where it's cold, but just make memories. And as you come to the end of the night, what memories can you make? Take some pictures throughout your evening. Post them on social media for those that you to that love to post everything you do. <laughs> for those of you that do, post those things on social media. But just take a few pictures when you do turn your technology back on just for picture sake and then turn it back off for a quiet, nice evening with your partner, just so that you have something that you can capture some, some memories to reflect back on, on this night. And then maybe after your dinner, dinner has settled, you've had some quiet, peaceful time together, then maybe you have some dessert, a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, some hot cocoa, Again, to just continue to join your evening, but take some time to reflect, maybe reflect on memories from the past, things about your children, but the good things. One thing that my husband, um, Bill, has always said, before you lay your, pill your head on the pillow at night, he's told the grandkids this, I think I've even said this before on a podcast, but Think of all of the good things that have happened to you before you go to sleep. Do that together. Think about all of the things that you're grateful for. Think about all of the things that you love. Think about all of the fun things that the two of you have done together and cherish those memories together because you never know when this might be the last Valentine's Day that you get to spend together. Do those things. Love each other. Cherish each other. Make people in your life matter and just let it be a day of remembrance. And for today, love and leave behind this precious piece of technology that we all can't seem to live without. But for one meal, one Valentine's Day, I love you. I love you. I love you on this great Valentine's week. I hope for all of you a great time and a safe time with your loved one. This is Tanya Gossage, Influence and Growth Mastery. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do. And I am looking forward to, I have about 25 interviews scheduled coming up in the next few weeks. So subscribe and I look forward to to seeing you ag again soon on one of the podcasts. Love you. Bye.